Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Kaler. Um, now, a lot of you are going to be thinking, well, how do you do this? Like, how do you, how do you enable 144 hertz refresh rate on this monitor via this, uh, this Alienware laptop? I'll, I will explain it. There's a couple of things you got to do. And I know this is something that probably hasn't been done and maybe this video will help some people. Uh, the trick pata is, now I'm going to turn into David Prometheus, the android. The trick pata, it's not minding that it hurts. The trick pata is to use both cables. You got to use both cables. You got to use a uh, mini display port, two display port, and HDMI. And then once you do that, then you got to go to your... Uh, G, uh, GeForce, uh, what you call it, uh, NVIDIA control panel, and from there, you have to enable G-Sync. And once you enable G-Sync, then you switch to a uh, G-Sync capable monitor with 2560 by 1440 native resolution. And then you select 144 hertz right here. But before we do that, hold on. Let me first uh, do this really quick before we do anything else. So that way I can... Uh, I can apply this so put 144 Hertz and then you click apply and once you do that you have to wait a little bit and there you go now you got 144 Hertz look at this smooth as a butter that's 104 Hertz for you baby now I know I've been watching a lot of videos and uh, I know that a lot of people been having issues with this and um, I blame Alienware, I blame Dell for not explaining this. They never explained it that you have to have both HDMI 2.0 and a Display C port connected in order for you to use 144 hertz refresh rate. They never explained that. And I'm here to kind of clarify that. Why? Because I'm Mr. 4K Upscaler, man. That's what I do. I figured things out, man. If there's a problem, this let me explain something, guys. This is how I deal with issues. There's a problem. Good. Let's get after it. Let's figure that out. You know what's the great movie? Mark Watney on that The Martian. You know what I like The Martian? Because I mean I'm not a huge fan of Matt Damon, but it was a great movie directed by Ridley Scott, adopted by a book. Uh, he was stranded on Mars, and now he has to figure out, hey, do I want to live or do I want to die on this uh, red planet? What am I going to do? He chooses to live. And because of that willingness not to give up, to continue, he was able to survive and come back home. Uh, it wasn't easy, obviously, but he was eventually was able to do it. And I looked everywhere. People couldn't figure out how to do this. So that's how you do it. That's how you switch to 144 hertz. The first step, you have to enable the G-Sync. You see, you have to click here and set up a G-Sync. When you click set up a G-Sync, then you enable it. Like you click right here, you have to enable G-Sync. Now, I have enabled G-Sync for both my windowed and full screen mode, okay? Because I want to be able to use it whether it's windowed or whether it's full screen. So that way it constantly stays in 144 hertz. Alright. And then the next part is this part right here. Set up multiple displays. Okay. What I did, I just made this one be my primary. The reason it says Dell G-Sync capable and Dell the reason it says two monitors because you have two inputs. You got HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort hooked up to this monitor. So the feed you'll be getting is will be here's a trick, guys. Here's a trick, partner. You're not gonna be getting the feed through the DisplayPort. You'll be getting a feed through the HDMI, but the DisplayPort will be helping you get that 144 hertz on the HDMI 2.0. It's like dual cables, okay? You're using dual cables so you can achieve that 144 hertz refresh rate, but it'll be going through an HDMI, okay? Does that make any sense? Are you guys still with me? 
I think you guys are lost. <laughs> All right, just remember this. You have to use both cables. You have to use HDMI 2.0 and US, uh, and then mini display port to display port. Right here, let me show you. All right, so here's the trick pata. You see this? You have to use, by the way, this is the high speed PlayStation uh, Pro a cable that I have that I was able to buy okay it was from from eBay 2.0 it's like a limited edition cable I got it don't worry about it 2.0 gold plated now the trick here is to have both your HDMI 2.0 and your display port mini display port to display port cable so remember you need HDMI 2.0 and mini display port to display port hooked up to your monitor here and there you have it and that's how you achieve that 144 Hertz <laughs> and then you go over here check the change the resolution and here you see it stays at 144 Hertz all right and there it is now you see it's thinking that that you are using VGA and, and PC this but you're not uh, you're using a the reason it's showing two monitors is because you have both HDMI and DisplayPort. Now, now there's a software. It's thinking that you have two monitors, but you have only one that's combined into this one monitor. All right. So you'll be getting the 144 hertz refresh rate through this monitor. Here, let me show you the difference between 144 hertz. Look how fast this is on 144 hertz. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just look at my mouse. Look how fast that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch to a 60 hertz in one second. Just look how laggy this mouse is going to be at the 60 hertz. Check this out. Look at this. Look how laggy it is. Look at this. Look how laggy it is. And then look when I switch to uh, 144 hertz. Check this out. Look how fast I'm moving it. Look at this. Look, look, barely, barely, barely any. It's like it's not that, not that fast. Just look, look at the speed I'm gonna get when I switch to 144. Look at this. Look at, look, look at the speed. It look, it's the same thing, but look how faster it is now. And also, loading pages are much better. Like when you go loading page, everything will load much faster. Look at this. Look, look at the speed. That's 144, 144 hertz. Look at that. Look, look at the speed. Look at this. That's the 144 hertz, okay? That's what you get with 144 hertz G-Sync. Like whatever you click, let's say we click entertainment. Look at this, fast, fast, smooth, fast, that's it. And if I was to go to a 60 hertz, you wanna see how badly this is going to be on a, on a 60 hertz? Let me show you, okay? Okay, here we are on a 60 hertz. Now look, look at this when I load the page now. Just it's not it's not not as fast, okay. It it slows down. It slows down, and then look what happens when I switch to 144 hertz. We'll do this in in, in real time here. Let's switch to 144, and you will see the difference, man. Drastic difference. It's applied 144. There it is. And then here, I'm going to switch to uh, Internet Explorer. Look at this. Fast, fast, fast. Click on Entertainment, fast, fast. Click on Sports, fast, and you will see it. Hold on. It could be my Internet now, so it de depends, you know. Hold on. Let me, let me click again. Let me do this again. Let me, let me click on uh, Technology really quick here. Look at that. Fast. Autos. Fast. Money. Fast. Technology. Fast. My feed. Fast. Okay, let's click on uh, IGN, like really quick. IGN.com. IGN.com. And you'll see how fast the, 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 the page is going to load. Look, it's seamless. Boom. Right, right away. That's 144 hertz. Now, I'm going to do some videos where I'm going to show you how fast 144 hertz is. All right, guys. There you have it. Upscaler out.